spicy chicken McNuggets, breaded in tempura and made with cayenne, are just the right amount of fire emoji, chili emoji, grinning face with sweat emoji, and wouldn't it be couple fire emoji if they came back? Spicy chicken McNuggets, they're back. Fire Win Green Cash at Creighton can be up to $500,000 beat the Heat Slot Tournaments Thursdays now through August. Win up to $15,000 cash with 50 winners at each tournament guaranteed. Only at Creighton Resort and Casino. Download the Bay Area's favorite local news app, Cron On. Now in prime time from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Cron Four News at 8. And now at a pivoting from a previous plan, why one Bay Area county is switching the approach to, just to uh, distributing monkeypox vaccines. Plus concerns over privacy in San Francisco, the proposal from police that would give the department access to security cameras. And quick action from an officer saves a life. The praise from doctors tonight after a baby was brought back from the brink. Thank you for joining us for Cron 4 News at 8 o'clock. I'm Ken Wayne. And I'm Catherine Heenan in for Pam Moore. Our top story at 8, monkeypox continues to be a problem in the Bay Area. The nine counties reporting a total of 176 confirmed cases, a 49% uh, total of all the cases in California. That's according to the latest numbers from the State Department of Health. Here are the latest numbers by county. Solano County today says it's still waiting on confirmation for two probable cases. San Mateo and Contra Costa County both reporting one confirmed case each. There are two cases in Marin County, three in Sonoma, five in Alameda. And San Francisco is home to the biggest outbreak in the Bay Area, and now in California, 176 cases. The city's health department announcing another 55 confirmed or probable cases today. And worth mentioning, uh, San Francisco is only updating the monkeypox count twice a week, so these are the new cases detected as of Friday. And in Santa Clara County, health officials there are reporting 23 cases, and that's where we find Crawford Justin Campbell tonight. Justin, last week the county health department announced a plan to distribute monkeypox vaccines by invitation only, but now we're hearing they're planning to take a different approach. What's going on? Yeah, that's right, Ken. Today, the county tells me they received their second shipment of roughly 800 doses of the monkeypox vaccine, which is enough supply to allow them to go from invite only to appointments now. And here's how it works. 